Hi everybody! Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a PowerPoint template. Now for those of you who do not know what a template is, it's basically a frame for the content and the design of your slides. You can reuse it for as many presentations as you want and therefore it saves a lot of time. Trust me, it is totally worth it. And also for companies, they're perfect if you have a specific corporate design that you want to keep with every presentation that you or your employees give, then you can just make one template that, that's within this frame of your corporate design and then reuse it for every single presentation. Again, saving a lot of time because you don't have to do the design over and over again. Right, so let's get into it. To get to the slide master, we have to click on view and then on slide master right here. And as you can see, this is um, oh, this is our main slide, and it is connected with um, these gray little dots, these dashed lines, um, to different other slides. Um, but for now. This is the most important one. This is the slide master master slide. And everything you do here will directly affect the things here. Now, if you don't know what that means, let me just demonstrate that by quickly changing the background. So I feel like I'm going for kind of a nature inspired template today, just because I feel like it. I'm gonna use picture texture fill for this, but you could also do a basic solid fill. Maybe you go for that or I don't know. Whatever you feel like, I'm gonna do a picture texture fill. And by the way, you've already seen that everything right here changes immediately. And that comes from changing the master slide. So as I said, everything that you do on the master slide will directly affect this one. These ones, actually. <laughs> Right, now let's stick with the background. It's actually the first thing that we want to change. So I'm gonna insert a picture, as I said. You can choose one of the pictures from your computer or you use one of one online picture, icons, whatever. But I'm gonna do stock image, images today because actually there's quite a few nice pictures here. And um, use that one. And as you can see, it immediately switched with all these slides. So we changed the background now, but there's still a lot to do. I can't even see my text. It's still black and it's on a dark background. So I definitely want to change the font colors. You can do that by clicking here. And as you can see, there are these color palettes. And uh, this one is set by de default, but um, there are many more that you can choose from, so if you don't feel like customizing your own colors, you can just choose one of those. I customized mine already. Um, I did my homework and it's kind of this white grayish one. You could also click customize colors and then set colors for all those things. There's accent colors and there's text and background colors. You could change basically everything. I already changed the colors now, but there's more. You can also change the fonts. As you can see, again, there are different styles already that Microsoft has provided for you that somehow fit with each other with title and regular text boxes. So I like this one actually, so I'm just gonna choose that one, but feel free again to do whatever you like and also you can again customize it right here. If, for example, your company has its own kind of text, you can just set that here. Body font, heading font, and save, and you're good to go. Now, also, you can adapt the footer as you want, but I feel like it's okay. I like it that way, so I'm just gonna leave it right now. Now, the last thing we're gonna be changing on the slide master is um, the text itself. 
like maybe you want uh, your title to be bold we're gonna just go to home and set it bold as we would do with like regular slides and as you can see all these things have become bold as well now maybe you also want this to be aligned in the middle and um, right actually that looks fine to me or maybe let's make it a little bigger yeah that's I like that perfect now you can also change that up like maybe you don't want circles but you want you want little squares instead on the first level on the other levels I'm just gonna leave the bullet points the round ones and maybe we want different fonts for the last two levels so I'm gonna just do those actually that doesn't really look good but I just wanted to demonstrate it I'm gonna re redo that like um, that's perfect as it is okay um, now I actually like what we did with the with the slide master it looks good and um, we're gonna go ahead to the next part Okay, so we now defined the um, master slide, but now we want to make different designs for all of these because I mean it works as it is right now, but it's still a little boring. So we want to kind of spice it up a little. The thing is you could actually make a different design for each one of those, but then it probably wouldn't be very uniform again. So I'm just gonna like switch it up a little and um, change up some, but not all of them. Maybe just start with this one, which is the title and content slide. And um, again, you can change a lot of things with this. You can again start by formatting the background. Um, maybe we want to use um, this one instead or like a little darker one something like a panda bear it's cute right and um, now you got a new background set but only for this one slide as you can see all the others just kept their design from the master slide they only change if you change the background in the master slide and um, this is just a single one now it's a little hard to see um, my fonts so I could either change the font color but that would be difficult as well because changing it to like black or something wouldn't really make it a lot more readable so what I'm gonna do instead is insert a little box so click shapes and then right here and um, do that then also send it to the back and maybe like that right and now you can read that and this is actually fine for me I'm gonna leave it as such you can also add a placeholder I'm gonna show you how you do that like for example you do want some content to be on there but you also want a picture on there draw it and now this is where your picture belongs um, and later if you use the template <clears throat> your it's gonna ask you to to put a picture right here okay so that was the demonstration of that you can just change those up as well change the background change the font um, do whatever just feel free feel creative So the last part you should do is to save it as a template. You want to go to File, um, Save As, and then just choose 
where you want to save it and then by default it's PowerPoint presentation but we want to choose PowerPoint template instead so that's a POTX file now I'm gonna call it nature right it goes into the custom office templates folder by default that's totally fine click save okay so I've saved the template and I opened a new PowerPoint presentation I've done nothing to it it's just basically the blank slide now I'm gonna show you how you can use template you want to go to design right here then click the lower arrow and click browse for themes then go to the folder where it's saved so for me that's documents and um, custom office templates now you can see my template that I've already saved and it's nature I'm gonna click that and click apply and as you can see it changes immediately and if I click new slide now I can see all the slides that I created also the one with the panda bear and I can just use it and write some text and that's pretty great okay so basically that is it that is how a template is created and how you can use it with a lot of your PowerPoint presentations. I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. And I see you in the next video. Um, also check out our other YouTube channel videos. There might be some helpful PowerPoint tips for you. Okay, see you, bye!